I want to help you install a driver for an Evolus Primacy printer. It's really easy. So let's get going. First of all, you want to go to the evolus.com website. And what I've done is, this is the home page. Uh, you just want to click on drivers and support. And you want to go down to your printer, whichever one it is. This is actually where you can, in, you can download and install any driver for any printer you might have. But right now we're dealing with the Primacy. I want to click on there. I want to click on here and that will download the, the driver. It's as easy as that. Uh, right over here we have the firmware but we'll talk about that later. So you can download it from there. I've already downloaded it so I've put it in this little folder. I like organizing my things like this where I have the driver, I have the design software and I have this .nic fix software that uh, is required for some computers. Some computers need um, just this little update to be able to install the driver. So let's jump right in. So this is what the thing's downloaded. This is what gets downloaded from the internet. You double click it. You say yes, I want to run this. You give it permission. Uh, yes in English. Um, it says an older version is, I've already got it installed, but an older version and so now I'm going to be updating it with the new version. But your installation should look exactly the same. Here on the first screen is an important note. In order to keep it in perfect working order and maintain cover under warranty, you must clean your printer regularly. This is very important. We'll talk about this later, but just click on I understand and agree. Um, and next, please make sure that the USB cable is disconnected. When you're installing a printer, make sure you are not connected. Also make sure that you are the admin on your computer. You can't be a guest on a computer uh, or else it won't install. Let's go next, standard installation, next, create desktop item and so on, etc. Next, install. Cool. I'm happy. And there we go. Now you'd have to restart your computer. So at this point, restart your computer. Yes, restart the computer now and click finish. Okay, welcome back. Once your computer has restarted, you should be faced with a screen install procedure completion in progress. After this, you can click next. It'll then move on to a screen that says, if you want to use a USB printer connection connected to USB cable now. Go ahead and switch on your printer uh, by plugging it in in the back with its power cable that is switching it on, then connecting your printer to your computer via USB. Uh, the next screen you'll be faced with is the finishing screen where you can click finish and open Evolus Print Center. If your printer is not here yet, it's probably still just installing, but mine has finished installing now, so here we go. I have my Evolus Primacy installed. It, it tells me there's no ribbon inside it yet, which is true, there is no ribbon. Um, it's created a desktop item. What I like to do is I like to right click and say pin this program to taskbar so that when I exit this it's always there, it's always available. So here's the Ebola's print center. This is the driver for the printer. This is the most important area for the printer. This is where you can check if anything's going wrong, if the printer is ready or not ready, if there's anything missing. So all you need to print cards is a computer, a printer, ribbon and cards. That's all you need. So at the moment I've got my printer, I've got my computer, I've plugged my printer in, I've installed the driver, there it is. What I need to do now is I need to add a ribbon to my printer. I'm taking the ribbon out of the box and I am placing it inside the printer. Opening the cover and putting the ribbon in. I am, and there you can see it says cover open and I am closing the cover. The printer will take a moment and it will detect what ribbon is being used. It says I have a card feed problem, which means there is no cards inside the printer. I am opening the input hopper of the printer and I am inserting the cards into the input hopper. It should pick up that cards have been inserted and now the Evolus Primacy is ready. So this is the ideal place you want your printer to be in. You want it to say your printer is there, it's ready, it's detecting the ribbon. At the moment I'm using the, the 200 prints full color YMCK ribbon R5F002 EAA. And you should be able to use this and now the printer is ready to print. This is the best place you want to be in. Let's test it quickly. I'm going to double click on the printer. I'm going to open up the properties section. Now there's lots of options here you can deal with to, uh, to communicate and interact with the printer. But what I want to do is I want to go down to system details, testing cards, and I want to print a graphical test card. 
Now the printer is just scanning for the right place on the ribbon. It's going to take a card and it's going to start printing on it. We have a perfect full color graphical test card print. Done. You may also go ahead and do a technical test card. That's it. That's all there really is to it. Your printer is ready. If you go to uh, devices and printers, it should be right there installed and ready to go. There it is. Simple as that.